Hey Apple users, this is a review of Apple Core of Dallas's January 2017 meeting. We talked about cord cutting and how we watch television has definitely changed over the years. Uh, originally, just watching TV on one screen, only a few select versions of channels that you could watch. Um, to these days where it almost seems like we have a plethora, an endless plethora of ways to watch TV and get content. Of course, in the original days, if you wanted more content, you had to subscribe to either a cable provider or a satellite provider. And depending on where you lived, you may not really have had a whole lot of choices to go through or how the content was provided to you. And it could get very expensive. But these days, we watch television in many different ways, not just on the TV screen, but on our tablets, on our smartphones. It's everywhere we want to be, everywhere we need to go. Uh, another big thing that's changed in how we watch TV is the internet. In fact, especially since uh, broadband's now defined in 2015 by the FCC as 25 megabits per second, this is up from 4 megabits in 2010. This means that streaming more content in audio and video is is becoming more uh, uh, easier to get no matter where you are in the United States and also the world itself too. So let's kind of dive in. Before we kind of dive into some of the apps up there and ways to cut the cord, the first thing I want to talk to you about is uh, the standard channels. For us here in the United States, NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, to an extent the CW are kind of these standard channels. Depending on where you live, you can get even more. Uh, if you cut your cable or your satellite dish, uh, you can still get a lot of these channels digitally. Um, you can get window cleaning antennas or even outside antennas that can catch these digital signals and allow you to watch them live. And depending on what kind of hardware you have, there are even ways that you can record these episodes or TV episodes uh, to watch later from digital over-the-air TV that is provided for free. Um, by the way, uh, you may want to take another look at your video game console if you happen to have one because a lot of the new gaming consoles these days have ways to also digitally record TV too. Now, now that the free digital over the air is kind of out of the way, let's talk about media hubs. So media hubs are the way that you can get these contents and experiences uh, in different ways onto your, your television, your main screen. There are different types uh, out there. Uh, they're kind of these stick media hubs, uh, kind of like, for example, the Amazon Fire Kindle Stick. Google has one as well. These ones can get very cheap, as low well as $49, sometimes even cheaper where you look. Um, and we'll stream a lot of the content that you're normal to seeing uh, or, or the, the major providers of content out there like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, video, so forth. Um, you can get media hubs that are a little bit more advanced like the Apple TV. Uh, a lot of these hubs start at 100, 150 and go up from there. Not only can they stream a lot more content, but they're also able to run applications too, games, um, a lot of them have a little bit of built-in storage so they can store information and content as well. It's going to give you a lot more to do if you're looking to maybe do more than just stream movies and TV. Again, I, I threw video game consoles into this mix too because a lot of the video game consoles these days are also very much media hubs. They're not just for video games. Um, in addition to having a lot more power and a lot more storage inside the video game consoles, um, these also will be giving you the ability to also play discs back too. So if you still occasionally want to play DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, and some consoles now have built in uh, the ability to play Ultra HD or Ultra 4K Blu-ray discs. Um, this is probably where you want to look. Uh, of course, depending on how new your TV is, you may not actually need a hub. A lot of televisions now these days have media hubs built in. With these media hubs built in, you just basically plug your TV, connect it to your Wi-Fi, and away you go. By the way, you really don't need any of these hubs or any of these things because if you have a standard television that has an HDMI hookup or a way that you can hook it up from your Mac, really all you need is a Mac, a cable to your TV, uh, an internet connection, and away you go. A lot of the services we're going to talk about today are available through just straight through your Mac. No other, no other items really necessary. Probably the biggest thing on the hubs uh, is it does allow you to stream content from your Mac to the screen without the wire. For those of you that would like as few wires in your home as possible. So the new providers, uh, where, you know, we would think of the cable and dish providers, new providers now, one of the bigger guys out there, Netflix, I always like to call them the blockbuster killer. 
Um, Netflix is going to have lots of movies, lots of shows. They also have lots of custom content that they've created. Probably the only downside of Netflix is the content changes periodically. So if you are watching a series and you didn't watch the rest of your series um, in time, if they change it or remove it, um, it may be sometimes questionable if that series, when it will come back, if it will come back, so you can continue watching it again. <clears throat> Netflix also probably has the, the greatest amount of differences in how you can pay for them. Um, if you're not wanting high definition, you can actually just get into Netflix at $7.99. allows you to stream to one device at uh, standard definition. 10 bucks a month and you'll be able to stream to two devices at the same time in HD. 11.99 uh, will allow you to stream up to four devices at the same time. This is probably more ideal for families where maybe the kids want to watch something different from the mom or, or dad, uh, depending again how many people are going on uh, are wanting to do things at the same time in the family. Um, this price also allows you to stream 4K or Ultra HD for some of the content out there that's available in this high definition. Uh, by the way, while Netflix started as a company renting DVDs and Blu-ray discs, uh, they still do that. Uh, so if you still would like to get in the mail your DVD discs for some uh, certain content, you can actually add that to your subscription. Hulu will probably be the next top dog here. They're owned by ABC, NBC, Fox, and the CW. So a lot of the TV shows uh, and content made by these content creators usually shows up the day after the air. Uh, so, you know, again, if you uh, are particularly into a specific uh, TV show, if it airs on Monday, you can watch it on Hulu on Tuesday. Um, they also show older content and series, and they also start creating their own custom content you can only find on their network. Uh, getting into Hulu, $7.99 will get you in. Uh, the content... Some of the content is free. Kid shows are free. However, there's a lot of content which will occasionally break into it, uh, one or two, maybe three advertisements before backing into the content. If you would like to see absolutely no ads, uh, you can do that with Hulu. It just costs a little bit more. You're eleven ninety nine, and you can ditch the commercials. Um, do to do uh, twenty dollars ninety eight cents. You not only ditch the commercials, but you also add Showtime to the mix too. Amazon. So if you are a uh, Amazon Prime, you already have Amazon Video. Uh, it comes with your Prime subscription. Uh, again, they have a lot of TV shows, movies that you can watch, custom uh, content that they've created. Uh, you can actually get into Amazon Video for $8.99, $8.99 a month. However, I would highly suggest either spending the dollar more or uh, paying the $99 and getting the Amazon uh Prime subscription because not only would you get the video, but you also get the two-day shipping. If you buy anything from or buy certain items from Amazon, I should say, not everything has two-day shipping on it. Uh, you also get content, other content such as their music and books. So when you add everything that Amazon offers, it's actually quite worth the I think the ninety-nine dollars a year. Uh, whoop, skipped skipped one here, but let's go back. When you're the top dog, like CBS, um, you can have your own CBS Now uh, station. However, I was informed at the meeting that CBS is starting to add some of their content into Hulu. So I'm not sure if they've just decided to start looking that that route since uh, it's really tough to tell people, um, you know, if you want everything that the uh, ABC, NBC, CBS, CW, and CBS has to offer, you have to have two accounts. Maybe they've decided to jump in. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but at the moment, if you are into what CBS has to offer, $6 a month gives you access to everything they have to offer um, on CBS now. Sling is another content provider. Um, essentially, they have all the popular cable channels that you're probably used to, like ESPN, Disney Channel, a &E, Freeform, Lifetime, and so forth. So if uh, you are looking for those type of channels, uh, this would probably be a good addition to Netflix or Hulu, It'll give you all those other channels that you can watch. Um, also, they have different add-on services or add-on groups of channels, um, so you can add uh, even more to your Sling subscription for 
um, sometimes as little as five dollars a month the basic package is 20 uh, but for example if you're a news junkie you can add a whole bunch of news channels on there you can add a whole bunch of Spanish only channels kids uh, sports um, for you know again those five dollars a month other content providers like HBO, Showtime Stars, FX Now, and then you'll see many others have their own streaming services separate. Um, if you're not a cable or dish provider that have these services, you can actually purchase them for so much a month. Uh, same things goes sports, law, NFL, uh, baseball, a lot of them have their own streaming services too. Um, now, of course, if you were to add everything that we just talked about up together, uh, you probably will be paying the same or more as your cable or dish provider. Um, but it really comes down to what do you like to watch? What do you actively watch? Um, and once you kind of figure that out, you can use all these services I talked about and a lot of the other ones are out there available. Some of them free because they're advertisement based um, in order to watch the content that you want to get. Um, so like for me, um, I, I usually subscribe to Netflix or Hulu, usually not at the same time, kind of depends on what, if TV is currently going, I'll subscribe to Hulu. When television goes on hiatus, I switch back to Netflix, um, and a couple of the other channels. So for, for me, I end up spending, you know, less than $30 a month for all the TV and content that I want, uh, cause I've only really honed in on the things I actually enjoy watching. Um, this is something I really do tell people to, to look into before jumping in. Also, the nice thing is you can try a lot of these services before buying into them. Um, a lot of them will have where you can try for a week or two, sometimes a whole month. Um, so definitely check them out. Um, everybody, depending on uh, how much you want to watch, it will vary depending on what you like. Um, so that's cord cutting. Um, a lot of these services, again, if you have a new smart TV, all you need is it built in the TV right now. If you want to make your TV a smart TV, you can easily add a hub these days to add that kind of content. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to visit acd.us and uh, go over to the ask a question section. Uh, we try to keep an eye on it and we'll answer back uh, if you have any questions there. And also you can find us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash uh, Apple Core of Dallas. And follow us on Twitter at Dallas. AUG. The AUG stands for Apple User Group. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching this presentation, and we'll see you at the next meeting uh, every second Saturday of the month uh, at the Richardson Civic Center here in Richardson, Texas, starting usually at 9 a.m. Uh, also, visit again at acd.us for more information on our upcoming speakers. Thanks. Have a good day.